Not everybody has the ability to focus on the game for 10 hours a day, but throwing it up on a second monitor and AFKing while you get some work done is a great way to make some passive GP or gain some XP. And with that in mind, welcome to AFKing 9 to 5. Fellas, welcome back to a new No Weather OSRS video. Today I'm going to be testing out two handed axes. Uh, it has been a hot minute since I uploaded a video, but uh, as we go through this, you'll kind of see why it's taken so long. Today I'm going to be testing the Dragon Two-Handed Axe. I'm not a huge fan of charge skilling items, so I never really use crystal tools. But just to put it up front, you will obviously get more XP if you use a crystal two-handed axe. It will just cost a little bit more and you'll have to maintain the charges. Also, just as a friendly reminder, I am 99 woodcutting, so if you are lower level than that, you will get slightly less XP. The plan for this video is to test on four different trees for four hours each, so I'll be doing redwoods, teaks, magics, and yew trees. The redwoods I'll be doing in the farming guild, so I don't have the plus seven from the woodcutting guild. The teaks I'll be doing in Priftiness so that I get the crystal shards, and the magic and yew trees I'll be doing in the woodcutting guild. There's now like a high variance in XP from woodcutting because of the changes with forestry. You basically get a buff the more people are on a singular tree. I'll be trying to use trees that nobody's on so that I get the lowest amount possible. But if you want advice from me on woodcutting, you should woodcut on a forestry world even if you're ignoring the events. Just having those additional people on a tree will give you so much more XP, and occasionally doing some of the more AFK events like Roots or the Dryad will really bump up your XP per hour. Today I'll also be using the Log Basket, which is a reward from Forestry. This works the same way a Fish Barrel does. It basically just gives me another full inventory so I can stay at the tree for a little bit longer, therefore making it slightly more AFK. I'll also be using Twitcher Gloves, which are another reward from Forestry. This has nothing to do with XP or logs or two-handed axes. I just want more eggs so that I can try to get the evil chicken outfit. But they are pretty bad, so I'm not really going to talk about them. So how does the two-handed axe work? These are actually called felling axes if you're confused, or if you want to buy one on the GE, search for Dragon Felling Axe. If you're an Iron Man, you have to get the felling axe handle from the Forestry minigame, and this costs 10,000 anima bark. But these two-handed axes are interesting. They cut at the same rate as a regular axe, but they offer 10% more woodcutting experience and also giving you 20% chance to not obtain a log. For us, the people who are AFKing on a chill day or while working, this is incredible. This means we get more XP and we either have to drop logs less often or we have to bank less often. These axes don't have any charges, but they do use Forester Rations to work. Forester Rations can be stored in your Forester Kit or held in your inventory. They are stackable, so either way this will only take up one inventory space. Every time you get an XP drop with one of these two-handed axes, one of these rations will be consumed, so I'll be tracking how many I use per hour at each of these four trees. If you're an Iron Man, you'll have to make your own rations, and these can be created by using any type of tree leaves with any cooked meat or cooked fish. Right now, they're only 29 GP, so it might not be a bad idea to stack up on a ton of them. These can be made relatively quickly just by using any fish or meat that you have, or by buying it from any of the fish stocks across the game. But with all the information up front, let's get to cutting trees. To start this video, I went to Redwoods. And thankfully, this is where I went first, because this is where I would recommend you actually use a two-handed axe. Here, I was only using 175 rations per hour, and I was getting 429 XP per log. For reference, a redwood will give you 380 XP per successful cut with a regular axe. I was getting 75.3k XP per hour, which is pretty good, and it is very AFK. I want to start including this like scale of like how AFK something is rather than a time, because a lot of AFK activities do have a lot of variance. So for redwoods, I would put this at like the very top. This is a great AFK activity. It's not 20 minutes of Nightmare Zone, but it is very good and very doable while working from home. You could also 100% do this on mobile. It would be super easy to do. The good thing about Redwoods as well is that by banking them at the Farming Guild, even though I'm using rations, I'm still technically making money. It is a pretty insignificant amount, but it is profitable. After Redwoods, I went to Teaks. I wanted to try Teaks because Teaks are used by people who want to get the most XP possible when woodcutting. A lot of times they're used with tick manipulation methods, but they can be AFK'd and the logs can just be dropped. So that's what I did. 
For each successful cut, I was getting 95 XP, when a typical teak tree gives you 85 XP. I got more XP here than I did at Redwoods, getting 86.1k per hour, but if we pull up that scale again, I would probably put this on the lower end. It is totally doable while working, but it is much faster. It can be as low as like 20 seconds sometimes. Plus, I was dropping all the logs, and I was using a ton of rations here. I was using 923 rations per hour for only a small XP buff. So although it is doable, I really wouldn't recommend this one for a work from home situation. But if you really wanna get some XP really quickly and you don't wanna do any tick manipulation methods, doing teaks on the forestry world in Priftiness is probably a good idea. I would do this on like a Saturday or on a Sunday where I'm just watching Netflix or maybe on the evening of a work day where I'm not really doing too much. So I could see this definitely having some use, but probably not while you're working, at least for me personally. And you're probably wondering why the XP thing looks so scuffed. Well, this is where the problem came in. <laughs> this recording is from November 1st, and today is November 7th. I got two hours done here, and then my computer froze, so I tried to restart it. And when I did, it wouldn't turn back on. So that's why this video took so long. I'm sorry, but I still want to test two-handed axes, and I'm happy that it happened at Teaks rather than Redwoods, but two hours is still plenty to get the XP right and kind of get our justification on if we should AFK it or not. And then we hop to present day. Next, I tried magic trees, and these underperformed so much for my expectation. It was very similar to Redwoods on how it was very AFK, but the XP was really, really bad. And again, just like teak trees, I only got two hours in. This time, not because of a computer failure, but because of a system update wiping my XP per hour. But regardless of that, it is also good that this happened while I was doing magics because this was by far the worst one of the video. At the magic trees, I was using 134 rations per hour, which again is pretty good and is still very inexpensive. I was getting 282 XP per log, which is up from the normal 250, but I was getting a measly 38k XP per hour. The gather rate of magic logs is so bad that it's really not worth using two-handed axes for. A regular axe or an infernal axe would be much better. I do think if you want to use two-handed axes, your best bet for this would be doing it on a forestry world. Just put yourself at North Mage just above the Sorcerer's Tower or the Magics in the Myths Guild and you should get a slightly higher XP rate than I got. But overall, I, I just wouldn't use two-handed axes for magic logs. And finally, we get to the Yew Trees. The Yew Trees were okay. I used slightly more rations per hour here than I did at the Magics or Redwoods. I was using 265 per hour, but I was getting 197 XP per log. This is up from the normal 175 for a U tree. The XP per hour was okay, it was 52k, and the AFK time was still pretty good. I would again put this in the top half of AFK time, just slightly less than Magics. All I really learned from this is that if you're going to do woodcutting with two-handed axes, you should do it on the forestry world. So if you want to do use on the forestry world, you should do it at the Beehives just to the west of Catherby, or at the church just south of Sears Village. The forestry buff for multiple people cutting the same tree and even doing some of the AFK events is way bigger than just using the axe. I went back and looked at my AFK forestry video and I got more XP on both you and magic trees in that one. So it's hard to quantify on this, but the two-handed axe is better than just regular wood cutting, but adding in forestry and doing some of those AFK events can really push that XP per hour up even more while still keeping the APM pretty low. Woodcutting is a very chill skill for most people. If you want the best XP rates, you need to do tick manipulation teaks, but everything I showed you today should be viable for at least someone. And yeah, that's my video on two-handed axes. Two-handed axes are pretty cool. I think people will use much later into their woodcutting training. My recommendation is honestly to just use them at Redwoods and then maybe Teaks if you want some more XP while you can pay a little bit more attention. Using them at Use is also probably fine, but I would skip the magics entirely. But yeah, that's about it for Two-Handed Axes. Thank you to the big fellas, Dan Smeghead and Loki FM. I appreciate you guys for your continued support. And of course to the fellas, Snacks, Jujo, and Italk. If you're not a member and would like to become one, there is a join button below the video. I'm now starting to do member-only videos, which will be more of me just kind of like talking and showing you guys some more endgame PVM. 
I uploaded a video on six jads that most people were like, yeah, we don't really care about this, but I already put a lot of time into it. So I just made it members only. So if you do decide to become a member, there should be like one to two videos that are just members only every month. And that's all I really got. If you're looking for more AFK content, you should see my playlist on screen now. And if you want to see the XP rates for the new bonfires that also came with Forestry Part 2, that should also be on screen now. Other than that, I've got nothing left to say, so I'll see you in the next one.